Madam, finally we are the leader of Mercy Girls Secondary School. Seems like a nice school and very beautiful. Personally, I love the environment. The Sirene environment looks very conducive for the yeah, studies. Sure. And even the structures mm -hmm. look a bit modern. No, this school, mommy, no, I don't like it. Okay, baby. I agree. This school might not be as good as you'd have wanted, but it is the best I could have managed within a very short time. Honestly, this is not right, Mama. This school looks like a good for second refugee camp. How do they even survive here? Come on, darling. It is not bad. You wrap the press. Honestly, it's like you no longer have taste, Mama. I think you're really getting old. Listen, even getting an admission here was not a joke. Were it not for my friend in the ministry, Sijui Tungefanya Nini. So please, I beg you, baby, try to be good this time round. Hold on a minute. Are you saying I'm bad? No, I didn't say that. You are my angel, but... It's okay. I lie low, as long as no one provokes me like people always do. Good. Now let's go to the office. Dere, yes, store ma bitu. Yes, ma'am. Negative, but I smell doom. Why say that, Molimo? That girl. Did you see how she was responding to questions? And the mother, she was so quick to jump in and answer for her. She's so spoiled. You are not wrong in your observation, but let's be optimistic. Maybe she'll settle down and be a good student. If I may ask, why did she leave a former school? Mrs. Kaora, some questions are not necessary for now. I may also not have satisfactory answers to that, but I know the principal had no choice but to admit her. <laughs> that sounds strange. I know, but you're the class teacher for now. Just do your best to keep an eye on her. Let's stop overthinking too much and stay in Lexi. Okay, I'll do my part. Excuse me. Diana, you thought I was joking. This is Diana. She reported last week and so I had to allocate her duties. She was supposed to clean the class with other members of our group, but she didn't. She has also refused to tell me why. Talk to her, please. Okay. Diana, right? What is going on with you? What do you want me to say? Well, you can start by telling me why you're disobeying the class prefect. I haven't disobeyed anyone. I've just... Is she lying about you not doing your duties? What duties? 
Because as far as I'm concerned, I've got one duty in school, that is to study. So what are we discussing? Madam, I don't know how things work where you came from, but here we clean our own classes and other areas of the school. So you either follow that or... Or what? Listen, I might be new here, but I've been to other bigger and better schools where no students or there's me around. What? See, Haley, you'll not achieve anything here. Just talk to the TOD. I've never encountered this level of arrogance. Come in. Yes, sir. Uh, how may I help you? What's your name? My name is Diana, sir. The head girl said that you're calling me. Diana, the new girl, right? Yes, that's me. Two things. I don't know who you're smelling at and why. Secondly, why are you giving prefects problems? What problems? When I ask questions, you provide answers, not other questions. But I don't know what they're talking about. Did you or did you not fail to clean your class? No, oh, that. I didn't refuse. I just told that prefect I'm allergic to cold water. But she didn't listen. Listen to me, young girl. I don't like your attitude. Neither do I like your conduct towards the prefects. If you have any allergies or any other medical issues, that may make it impossible for you to perform your duties, they must be communicated to the office officially. I don't like these games you're playing. I was not born yesterday. I can see that, but you don't look old all the same. Anyway, I don't want to have problems with you. So for you, I'll clean the class. Can I go now? Babes, you've kept me here waiting for so long. Nini Nimbaya? We had to wait for a suitable moment. So you have your prefect to watch to come away. But as a wana? Nope, we were careful to make Peter just like you told us to avoid the cameras. Super. Kucheni. Nini Nimbaya? Kai, 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 kai. Jo. Hi. Yes. I came and say 1863. How did you manage to get it in Navigny Depot to such Kama police? I kiss you as you take such a risk. Guys, you need to learn how to deal with these teachers. They are too old to match our tricks. Anyway, Nilongiana get lady na kanye care. What? Na kakubali? I also wonder. Si mimi ni limbega ni snikefo na kakata. I had to give Charlie Yangu a end in ayo. Aki nyinyi, you don't need to beg such people. You pay them. Mini limoi kapambili na kengia box mara. That, that. Wa? With thank God you came to this school. Ujivile nilikuwa nateseka. I had to eat either to the fine key ama nijifanye msik. Ndo nizek pata hii staff. Ato siseme. Na by the way, ulijuaji tunakakuwa ligmoja. It was written all over your faces. Maswaili ujana waka vilemba. Hi, 
Ah. 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 Hey, Kondo. Kwanu ni kipofu? Hey, my sister, I'm sorry. I just slept. Sia tu nilikuwa nataka pole. Pole pelekea wagonjwa wa usi. You don't have to insult me. I said I was sorry. I can insult you as much as I want. Utadu? Look, I stepped on you by mistake and I apologize. What else do you want? Nilamba hiyo kiatu wama? What? Is that me you ask such a stupid question? What? You just pour water me. Who do you? Who do No more discussion. The two of you must go home in accordance with the school rules and regulations. We cannot allow you to turn the school into a wrestling field. The two of you must go home. I can't leave this school. Call my mother to come for me. What? How special do you think you are, Diana? You're only a few weeks old in this school and you have given us enough trouble. You must go home. I know my rights. I won't leave until my mother gets here. Are you serious? Now you know why we had to fight. What did you say? Nothing, madam. Go pick your letter from the secretary. You must go home. Sasa mataku manisha nini? Kwano kama beshi na ena manisha? Na zimbovu harabu ya nzima dada, eh? All you are trying to tell you is to be careful with this girl. Take care. We have been friends since form one. We have known you for three years, and I have never seen you do the kind of things you have done in the past three weeks. What things? Please don't say things that you don't even understand. This is a very small school, and you travel so fast. We hear things, you know. Really? So what have you heard? Those trips you guys have been making to the dorms at very weird hours, and your little deals around the school fence aren't so hidden after all. What? What are you people talking about? We are not trying to bust you or anything. We know you too. We are like sisters. All we are telling you is turn around. It's not too late. Vile Sahi, that chick was suspended. Detach yourself from her and her friends. We will hate to see you in problems. Mama Diana, I'm so shocked you couldn't talk that way. What makes you think that we could mistreat your daughter? Or any other student for that matter. I can't tell. All there is that, that this case was not worthy sending my daughter home for all that time. Mama Diana, your daughter is a student like any other. And the rules apply to all of them equally. Exactly. And by the way, we know she's the one who started the fight. In fact, she should have been given harsher treatment. What? See what I'm saying? Some of you have a problem to answer my child. She is a good child. If she was involved in a fight, someone must have provoked her. Anyway, we can pay someone to do the punishment on her behalf. What? Are you serious? Mama Diana, you're not doing right by this girl. Let her do the punishment like any other student. She cannot be given credit. It's okay, Mama. Chalinas is right. I'll do the punishment. Are you sure, baby? Yes. I don't like this, Beatrice. Your crooked daughter is becoming too irresponsible for anyone to accommodate. Come on, sister. Be patient with her. She is your daughter as well. No, she is not. This is the child you tricked my brother into giving it to you. Now, she is nothing better but just a nuisance and a pain in everyone's neck. Rook, I know you hate me. But keep my daughter out of this. She's a good child. Your brother promised that she will be tolerated in this school. Mpaka Amarise. Just do that for all of us. Let me tell you. He may be PS education, 
but I am the principal here. If your daughter does not show any signs of respect, then I have no option but to throw her out of the school. She will be better. I've talked to her. Just let her be. I know her better, but time will tell. Excuse me, teachers. Yes, how can we help you? Chalinas, can I speak to you in private, please? What is so important you cannot talk to me in presence of another teacher? It's personal and I can't trust everyone. What is so personal that only a male teacher can help? How do you expect me to answer that? Chalinas, please hear me out. Diana, you're so rude. I'll not listen to you unless you show some manners. Apologize to Molimu and leave for class. I'll call for you later. Sorry. What's the deal between you two? Seriously? have a problem with anger, but talking to you helps me a lot. Really? Is that why you had to uh, disrespect another teacher? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Sometimes I do and say things that I didn't want to. I don't know how, but it just keeps happening. I find that really hard to believe. Look, Diana, I don't know you very, I don't know you very well, but uh, you have to understand that doing bad things does not make you a hero. And I understand that rules are meant to be followed by everyone. Thanks. I just love how you deal with everything. I'm very attracted to you. Excuse me, what did you just say? I do you want me to repeat myself. Diana, how old are you? I'm 17 years, 10 months, 22 days and around 12 hours. Ah, about uh, minutes and uh, seconds? Ah, leave that, it's irrelevant. You have to understand this. Even if you're 150 years, I am your teacher and you are my student and you have to show respect. Whatever you're trying to, to pull is very disrespectful. You have to understand that I'll be there for you, but never, ever say such things again. But... No buts. Now, leave my sight. Now. Take it easy, girl. Take it easy? Did you hear me? I have never been that humiliated. Look, you just need to calm down. It is... I need a fix. Right now? It is class time na najwa misinjerwa konjiani. I don't care. Kwanza huyo staki ata kumuona. Signal la mali ya muenda mtu I'm coming. But we should... Please, get out. Where are you going? Out. During class time, can you go back to class? I need to go. I said you go back to class or I slap that arrogance out of you. Ha <laughs> Try it and see if I won't slap you back. What? She did what? I'm sorry, madam. But honestly, I cannot teach such a student. I give up. This girl has done it this time. This is it. I can't stomach her in discipline anymore. Yes, madam. Come to the office. Okay.
Yes, Madam, you called. Terry. Yes. Look for the teacher on duty. Mm -hmm. Tell her to bring Diana here. Okay. I don't care whether she will carry her, drag her, whichever method she will use, I need her here now. Okay. Right away, Madam. I think this is serious. We have to up our game. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they will sit on us. Hey. Hey, girl. Take it easy on this stuff. You're uh, moving too, too fast. I want to draw my angle. Hey, honestly. Oh. You're taking too much. I love you, Changanya. Sip while you love us. Hey, no. You guys are still babies. No. Dana. 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 Hey, hey. Dana. Come on. No, no more. No more. Hey, come on. Hey, Dana. 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 Thank you so much, Daktari, for finding time to come and be with us. We feel humbled that you left your busy schedule to come and give us this vital information. How is Diana? We are doing the best we can, and we are very hopeful. But I must warn that the damage on some of our organs is very extensive. What are you saying, Daktari? What should we expect? She will recover. But there may be reversible effects that may remain even after the recovery. Effect like what, doctor? Uh, in cases like this, the patient may end up losing her sight, either partially or completely. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Oh my God! What will become of my child? Calm down, Beatrice. I know God is in control. This is my entire thought. If I was not to reenact on her, if I only around her to be corrected without defending her too much, I have killed my child. I have killed my only child. Don't say that, madam. She is not going to die. That I'm sure of. What is the difference if she loses her sight? She won't be dead inside. That is not true. There is a huge difference between a blind child and a dead child. Please have some courage. I need to see my child. Please take me to see my child. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my God. This assembly has been called at the request of one Diana, whom you all know very well. She has requested to be allowed to say a few words, and I saw it fit to honor her request. I therefore urge you to listen to her very carefully. Diana. Hello everyone. Hello. I wish I could see you. I wish I could see how beautiful you are right now. I wish I could see everyone I took for granted and say I'm sorry. I know the rays of the sun are beautiful this morning, sending a message of joy and peace to everyone. But when I had the chance to see them, I took it for granted. I am standing here today asking you all Forgive me for everything. I have learned the best lesson 
but the hardest way, this moment right here, is one which I would not wish even on my worst enemy. I'll be joining a school for the blind because that is where my mistakes have taken me to. I thank God because I could be in the grave right now. From now on, I will live every moment as the best person I can be. Please do the same. Not every time life gives us a second chance. I love you all and God bless you. She who has ears has heard, go and be the best you can.